Tom, you've been at this, as I said, a long time, and, and you have, you've been at it long enough that some of your graduates are now situated in ministry, and you've even visited with them in their churches. So when you are teaching New Testament exegesis, and when you're, you're teaching Greek, and you have the preacher who's going to be out there in the church in mind, how do you actually expect he will use that Greek knowledge week by week in the preparation of his sermons? Well, I, I agree with Don. Uh, preachers are different. They have different levels of skill, different abilities. Uh, so so I, what I say to my students, perhaps I'm not answering your question, but what I say to the students, if you've taken, if you've taken a sufficient amount of Greek or Hebrew, practically try to, and I don't think this is a huge uh, requirement, see if you can spend five minutes a day, uh, five days a week, uh, keeping up your languages. I, 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 if you do, it will be amazing how much you will know. That doesn't sound like a very big requirement. It actually is a big requirement. It takes a lot of discipline to do five minutes a day, five days a week. I actually started this in my own life in Hebrew, just spending a few minutes a day, and I've done this for 20, 30 years, and my Hebrew has improved. I don't teach Hebrew. Uh, remarkably. So I think that's one practical thing to say to preachers. Preachers have different abilities. Some can translate the text and deal with it well. Some can just use the tools and the commentaries. One of the advantages of knowing the languages, to pick up on what Don said again, is being able to evaluate the commentaries, being able to evaluate what is out there technically. So you're not at the mercy of, uh, of an expert. 